Mom, Dad, you should know what to do if your child has hives. Did red bumps appear on your child's skin out of the blue without any warning? Well, hives, which are also known as urticaria, are pink or red bumps on your child's skin uh, that appear out of the blue. And then the rash may flatten out over a few hours. But then some new bumps can appear over several days or maybe longer. In this video, we will talk about hives. What are they? What causes them? I will also answer some of the common questions you might have. How are they diagnosed by doctors? And how are they treated? And when should you worry and call the doctor? Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquiat. I'm a board certified pediatrician. And my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. Yay! Hives or urticaria. So what are hives? These are red raised bumps on your child's skin. They are common skin reactions to an allergen. And an allergen is any substance that can cause allergies. These spots can occur anywhere in your child's body. They can appear as tiny spots, they can appear as blotches, or large connected bumps. The rash may last for a few hours to maybe even a week, and for some, it can be longer. Hives that last for less than six weeks are known as acute hives, while Hives that last for more than six weeks are known as chronic hives. Hives can be caused by an allergic reaction, but it can also be due to extremes of temperature, stress, and infections. In some kids with hives, it may also be accompanied by angioedema, which is a condition that causes swelling of the eyes, lips, hands, feet, or throat. Hives is due to mast cells in the bloodstream that release a chemical known as histamine. And histamine leads to tiny blood vessels under the skin to leak. As the fluid pools within the skin, it forms spots or welts. Common allergies that cause hives are from food such as shellfish, peanuts and tree nuts, milk, fruit. It can also be due to medicine like antibiotics, from pets, pollen, insect bites, or insect stings. Let's answer some of the common questions you might have about hives. Well, who gets hives? Children and adults at any age can get hives. These are very common and you know in 15 to 20 percent of people at some point in their lives can get hives. What are the triggers? Well, hives is a reaction to different triggers which can be from food, medicine, and in young kids, viruses are common triggers. How long will these last? Well, most hive outbreaks end within two weeks, but occasionally for some, the hives keep coming back for weeks to months. So how are hives diagnosed? How are they treated? And when should you worry? Well, before we go to that, are you expecting a baby? How much better life can be when things are under your control upon baby's arrival? Where you feel confident about breastfeeding your baby? When you know when to worry and call the doctor? When you know how to soothe a crying fuzzy baby? when you can understand your baby's sleep schedule so you can better take care of yourself as well. How much better life can be when you can get the training at the comfort of your own home? Well, I've developed an online training video series known as the five newborn care strategies. Do check that out in the description section. How are hives diagnosed? Well, your doctor can diagnose hives by examining your skin or your child's skin. To find out the cause, your doctor would ask for your child's medical history, any recent illness, any medication your child might have taken, 
and your child's exposure to allergens. If your child has had chronic hives, those that last for more than six weeks, it is helpful that you keep a daily record of your child's activities like what your child has eaten, what your child has drunk. Then, your doctor would decide if your child would need further diagnostic testing. How are hives treated? Well, in many cases, mild hives will go away on its own and would not need any treatment. If a definite trigger has been found for your child's hives, the treatment is to avoid the trigger. Is your child complaining of itching? Well, you can give an antihistamine. This would block the release of histamine in your child's bloodstream and prevent breakouts. If your child has had chronic hives, those that last for more than six weeks, your doctor may give a prescription or over-the-counter antihistamine which your child would be taken daily. And if this antihistamine does not work, your doctor might prescribe stronger antihistamine or a combination of other medicines. When should you worry? Well, you should let your doctor know immediately or go to the nearest emergency room if your child has hives and this is accompanied by swelling or tingling of the mouth, tongue, or throat. If your child has trouble breathing, trouble swallowing, or if your child is vomiting. Hey, if you like this video and found this helpful, how about share it to three of your friends who might need it as well. And watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.